No, not Planet Money, not the fake graph. I was asked if it was legit and to elaborate. The graph makes a fundamental mistake that you don't need a degree in statistics or economics to understand. It compares a median with a mean. And I think everybody on the internet understands that because of very large income inequality, that the median is the more interesting measure rather than the mean because the median is not affected by outliers. The blue line measures the median wages adjusted for the cost of living. But the productivity line in orange is not the productivity of the median worker, it is of the average or the mean worker. We're literally comparing apples and oranges. So let's try to do apples to apples. What happens when we look at wages for the mean worker? That is the line in green. The gap disappears. The average worker is paid around the average worker's productivity. Well, whoop de doo for the mean worker. What about the median worker? And this is where I have to level with y'all. We uh, don't have that data. Nobody has median worker productivity. But we do have productivity data broken down by industry. Different industries see different productivity growth. And as you can imagine, in the last few decades, productivity growth has been dominated by computers and information technology. Now, here's a little secret that nobody talks about. There are a lot of jobs where the pay in that industry grew more than the corresponding productivity. You see, what happens is that the increasing productivity, and hence pay, in the tech sector totally changes the entire labor market in the country. Because if you're a firm outside of tech and you want to hire people, you are competing for those jobs. So you gotta raise your wages too, at least by a certain amount. To see what I'm trying to get out here, ask yourself why a taxi driver in America has a higher purchasing power for their wages than a taxi driver in Guatemala. It's the same work, but the taxi driver in America has other, better options competing for their labor hours. Let me show you a figure that's gonna blow your mind. The real wages for workers in the food, services, and drinking places industry grew by 43% since 1998, whereas the productivity in that industry only grew by 25%. The gap goes the other way. While many promote the myth of wage stagnation, which we certainly see in certain periods, when we adjust for the cost of living and put everything in today's dollar, the median worker made the equivalent of $19 an hour in 1964. Today, it's over 30. I wouldn't call this stagnation. And hey, all my sources and calculations are right here, link in bio.